Experts have expressed concern over the public sector's increasing wage bill. CTPD Head of Research, Policy and Development Boyd Mulea has urged the government not to politicize jobs in order to have a cost-effective wage bill. Mr Mulea has called for human resource and personnel audits in the public sector to address the challenge of cost workers, which has been draining the Treasury. Economist Kelvin Tsanga has called for a taxation policy that will enhance domestic resource mobilization amidst the increase in public service wage bill. According to the medium-term budget plan for 2022 to 2024, the public service wage bill increased from $23 billion in 2019 to $31.9 billion in 2021. Embrace you. As your brothers, as your servants, because that's what we truly are. On the agenda of the UPND administration is economic recovery and fiscal stability. To achieve this, government must embark on transparent and prudent fiscal management. The medium term budget plan for 2022 to 2024 has revealed that the wedge bill of government has been on the rise. In 2019, government spent 23 billion kwacha on remunerations, 26.9 billion kwacha in 2020, and 31.9 billion kwacha in 2021. With the recruitment process of 11,200 health personnel having commenced, the Center for Trade Policy and Development is concerned about the increasing wage bill. CTPD Head of Research Boyd Muller wants government not to politicize jobs in order to have a cost-effective wage bill. Most of the times we've seen that jobs are actually politicized, government. And the politicization of jobs has really been a cost in terms of increasing personal emoluments, as it were. So we expect the government to actually uh, do very well, being efficient in terms of carrying out uh, uh, human resource or personnel audits in different government departments to just ensure that we cut all costs, uh, uh, as it were. Mr. Malaya also wants government to see revenue leakages by conducting human resource and personnel audits to deal with the challenge of ghost workers in the public service. An estimate by the Zambi Institute for Policy Analysis and Research, SEPA, indicates that domestic resource mobilization for the 2022 national budget will decrease by 4.6 billion kwacha. Economist Calvin Chisanga has proposed a solution to mitigate the aforementioned challenge. Uh, we need to build robust uh, private uh, sector driven uh, growth by ensuring that the primary uh, production uh, you know, sectors function at optimal levels and ensuring that we have, um, of course, a good um, you know, participation from the private sector. While the employment of 44,200 civil servants enshrined in the 2022 national budget will be catered for by the $1.3 billion special drawing rights from the International Monetary Fund, the concern from stakeholders is sustainability of money that will be used to pay the employed civil servants. For